I am glad to welcome you to a series of reviews and recommendations for the wonderful Sierra Chart trading platform. I am sure that each of you will find useful details from my reviews. Do not miss the issues to learn more about the many undeniable advantages of this platform. I hope this will help you make the right bets with ease. Good luck! And let's begin. We will talk about the conveniences and customization of the trading DOM window. It is likely that you have already used the depth of market tool on platforms such as Jigsaw, ATIS, TT technologies, but now you do not have access to them for one reason or another. Never mind. Today, you have a chance to configure your trading DOM in the same way in Sierra Chart. You may ask, why do I need a Sierra chart? I'll tell you my reason, if you like, as an example. It's cheaper and the functionality is huge, so I don't have a Jigsaw subscription today. ATS freezes on my computer. TT for me is something like Bloomberg and I'm not ready to pay for it today, no problem. I will be able to set up my depth of market window identical to those in these platforms and trade and it's great. I feel like I have an amazing designer in my hands. Probably each of you will be able to experiment with the settings yourself since they will be before your eyes. Let me show you how simple it is. Of course, I will not abuse and comment on all the obvious things I do, just some of them. I save your valuable time and documentation for all buttons is available on the official website of the platform for everyone. I have a workspace open with the instrument for the contract period ESM 23 with an expiration date in June 2023, historical data and presented on the chart in the upper right corner, if necessary. Also the times and sales quotes window. It's right there on the right and has been greatly abbreviated since we won't need it at the moment. From left to right, I have already configured for you three trading DOM windows, which are almost identical to what you saw in other platforms that I mentioned by the name of the windows. You can see what I'm getting at, but it's important. The problem is our habits and we are not ready to change the point of view, so we want a similar DOM window as in Jigsaw, for example. You can customize almost any option. I just take it and set it up like this, as you can see. You can now open any of those platforms and compare what I got and don't forget to rate it if you like it. I will be immensely glad that my efforts for you were not in vain. Now, let's try to experiment a little together, to create a prototype of another window, so that you can also do this in the future. So, let's create an additional workspace for this and open a new window in it from our main menu. Besides, we can simply modernize the existing window model by duplicating it from another workspace into our experimental one. Of course, initially, you will only have one option, which was created by the platform default. It doesn't matter, it's fun to change from scratch and it's important to consolidate knowledge. You can just start by pausing my video and repeating my movements. For now, let's rename the workspace, for example, to Temp and call our DOM window with its friendly name. For example, Test Setting DOM. Great! Next, click Customize Chart Trade DOM in the Trade menu to experiment with visualizing the data you need. 
What is important, for example, for me in the Daoam window? Current price, bid ask size, recent bid ask volume, current total volume. Also, for some strategies, you will probably want to add, for example, BIDASK market depth pooling stacking or volume profile. It's all up to you. This was the initial setup. Now let's move on to graphical settings so that the volume of information can be perceived in a structured and easier way. In addition, everyone will be able to customize color schemes to make their eyes comfortable. Do you agree? Let's take care of them. And here Sierra Chart takes care of us again, doesn't it? Go to the chart menu by selecting graphic setting chart. This will make it possible to make changes to the local version of the window without changing the default settings. I'll tell you how to change the default settings a little later, but for now, let's continue. I want to warn you that in order not to lose your local setting, you just need to save this workspace and later opening it, your configured trading DOM and everything else that you will configure in this chart book will be waiting for you. You can then resave it from temp to workbook, for example, or as you wish. And if you want to make the exact same trading DOM window for another instrument, for example for NQ or any other, simply duplicate it into a new workspace and replace the instrument symbol in the window settings, keyboard shortcut F5. So, we are in the local graphical settings of a specific open window. In our case, it is test setting DOM. Local graphic settings are more convenient than global ones, as they filter out unnecessary settings that are not relevant to our case. We make changes in order, going through all the available points. You will instantly see the changes as you apply them. This way, you can customize the highlighting of sizes, columns, grid, and much more, which is very convenient. Ultimately, everyone will be able to customize the DOM just for themselves. Of course, I didn't want to tell you about every menu item, since it would take a whole review, but if there is a request from you, I will definitely do it, and we will continue this topic. Write in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next review. Now, as I promised, let's look at the global settings. Let's go to the graphics settings item in the global settings menu. I recommend this only after you have set up your trading DOM and tested it for some time and you would begin to understand that this is what you need. Then you can configure this again in the global graphics settings and then save the preset with a clear understandable name so that in the future you can easily navigate through these very presets, choosing a color scheme for a specific situation. For example, I can tell you how I do it. I have a chart book with a customized trading DOM window and when I need it, I simply duplicate it into a new chart book and rename it. That's all. Don't think about it unless it's really that important in your case. It's more important to trade correctly, which is what I wish you all success in trading. And don't forget to comment and suggest topics for reviews. Also, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new reviews. Bye! In the following topics, I will talk about what capabilities Time & Sales has in the Sierra Chart platform, we will also trade in the Trading Dome, and how you can automate your strategies and create almost any algorithm of actions using the built-in tools on the platform. These are truly incredible and useful solutions, for which we all have great respect for the developers. See you! Увидимся.